morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It has been maybe two weeks since my last upload which I apologise for slash don't apologise for because life has been crazy. So you might see from my background and the intro to this video that I am no longer in my old flat in Exeter. Me and Ali have now moved to London. So we settled in, <laughs> I say settled in, the moving experience was potentially one of the most stressful things that's happened to me. And that was maybe a little bit OTT, but it was very stressful. So um, we moved on Saturday, today is Monday. So we have been here Saturday night, Sunday night, um, so we've only actually been here like two days if that so definitely still settling in but the house is kind of coming together now um, we actually have our sofa coming today and we're going to be looking at offices over this week um, so everything is basically going to get sorted so once the house is completely done i will definitely give you guys a house tour um but love it basically so so in love with it and it's just been it's been a crazy week it's been a crazy weekend but i'm super excited for now being here in london so this week's episode is just going to be like a catch up because uh, things have changed since my last video um, in terms of food, in terms of cardio, like there has been changes with my prep. We are now <laughs> nine weeks, well I was nine weeks out on Saturday so we're like nearly eight and a half weeks out now. I'm checking in with Dan twice a week uh, and things are starting to kind of get exciting so I'll definitely sit down and have a proper chat with you in terms of how I've been feeling and the changes that we have been making to prep. Um, but for now, I'm gonna show you my first meal today. It is a rest day for me today on a Monday because it's a busy check-in day. So I'm basically just gonna be doing check-ins all day. I've also got some cardio to do, um, but today is a rest day low carb. So that gives you a little bit of an insight on what's changed with food. So my first meal is 30 grams of oats, 40 grams of oats. I think it might be 40 grams. I'm gonna go double check what's up now. Um, but yeah, meal number one, half past eight in the morning. Welcome to the video. I'm so excited for the rest of this prep now that we've moved. Forty grams of oats with thirty grams of whey. I'm actually not using um, zero calorie sources anymore, just because I was taking the piss first of all, and second of all, that means that it was just becoming ridiculously expensive. So, instead, I've decided that I'm just going to take them out for the rest of the prep now. So, what I've been doing instead is having half of the whey mixed into the oats, and then half of the whey kind of poured over. This used to be great because it used to have banana in it, but it doesn't anymore. So I'm still doing it. Um, so that is meal number one. So it is much later on now. It is 11 a.m. and I'm gonna go and do my cardio. So my cardio is now four half an hour a week. So I have two rest days a week, which I'll always do my cardio on. And then I try and do the other two on my upper body focus days, just so that I'm not taking away from my leg recovery too much at the moment. So on the Stairmaster, I've just joined the gym. <laughs> so that's gonna be my cardio gym um, for the foreseeable. I am training in terms of actually sessions wise at King's. I actually have an upper body session tomorrow. So I'm gonna be filming that and inserting it into this video. But um, it's not 24 seven, uh, it's like a 15 minute drive away. There is literally the gym, uh, 10 minute walk away. So I'm gonna head there now, do my cardio, and then come home and have a shower, probably have my next meal before we head out later to go and have a look at some offices, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna take my camera with me. Um, I feel like I need to be a lot more careful with my belongings now that I'm living here, and that's no disrespect to anyone that lives in London. I'm just from such a small little town where 
in my town if you were to leave if i was to leave my camera for example on top of my car when i was getting out of the car if i was to accidentally leave it on top of the car somebody would come past they would pick up the camera they would knock on the doors near that car and say oh is this your camera like that's the kind of place i've grown up in so I feel like I just need to be a bit more careful with my belongings and not just leave shit everywhere. Always carry a bag with me because um, I never used to do stuff like that. So what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to bring my expensive Canon <laughs> camera to the gym with me. Um, but I'm going to go and do half an hour's cardio. So imagine a video of me here getting on the Stairmaster with my CBG socks, my headphones, the Stairmaster party playlist. If you don't know, get to know. currently 1 p.m. and I'm having meal number two which is tuna <laughs> yes we are back there having a tuna salad basically with some broccoli in there as well 15 grams of salad cream and I've actually got a hundred grams of potatoes here because throughout my day on a rest day low carb I have 300 grams of potato so I split that across basically my three savory meals and that is post cardio food. We're super limited with space in the new flat, so I've had to um, basically prioritize my favorite supplements. So I thought I would show it on the vlog because obviously that's quite interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Dude. Cool. So, my favorite, and obviously all of this stuff is from Insights, of course. So, my favorite EAAs are the Nova Farm. <laughs> Um, in the watermelon you guys already know that so that's definitely um, top priority and then I've got the superhuman pump I'm not gonna lie this has overtaken the Nova pump um, that I've been having before this from Alpha Lion superhuman pump is incredible I got it in peach and then at the expo last weekend or whenever that was I also got it in this flavor which is blue still raspberry mojito Blueberry mojito, sorry, which is incredible. Um, a couple of like samples for when I'm traveling. And then I've got my Nova pump, which I do still love, still, still use that. Um, and then I also have the Recover EAAs in Oh My God flavor, which I personally think is the second best flavor. And then funnel my favorite pre-workouts, which is the MV Pre and then the Naughty Boy in the back there. So yeah, I'm basically going to have to limit the amount of supplements that I'm having now, which is funny when you work with a supplement company, but Danny will be pleased because it means that I'm not going to, how the fuck did Ali get these in here so nicely? Oh, hang on. Put the bill. My favorite, my top two faves at the moment are these two, Blue Steel and the Watermelon Gummies. I'm trying not to have too much stimulants now this uh, end of prep but yeah so that goes in there these are the new flavors i'm going to try when i go to hull next weekend and then we have in here this is like one of those you know you get those shit cupboards that are just full of weird stuff when you move house it's now a supplement cupboard so we've got my favorite cream of rice flavor which is the birthday cake um then i got the carrot cake whey <laughs> and up there the salted caramel and then that one Ali loves which is the Kinder White Breddo not a fan to be honest with you and then the OG please excuse all the mess we are still trying to sort our house the OG goes in here which is the brownie batter just on the way to go and look at some offices so me and Ali have booked a couple of viewings around the area to find the perfect office for CBG which is exciting so hopefully the one that we're just about to go and look at it looked perfect so hopefully it's great when we get there and we can start thinking about our new office came from looking at offices and i've got my next meal which is 100 grams of chicken with 100 grams of the 300 grams total of potato for the day green beans salad and sauce we found an office 
which is so exciting. It is literally perfect. I just wanted somewhere that was close, quite sort of like airy, as in had like big windows with lots of natural light, quite like a neutral tone in the actual office itself. And then obviously enough room for my desk, Ali's desk, the stock, um, and kind of just a bit of a hub for the business because although we had the office in the old house and when I think back to committing to the office in the old house that was such a big commitment for me at the time in terms of the business and it's similar to when I put Ali on a salary and she um, quit her job and came and worked for me like that was a massive business move and this again is just one of those decisions that although it is sometimes like oh my god that's a massive decision it's you know a big investment it is something that just totally makes sense it's gonna allow so much more room for the things that we're trying to do within cbg and yeah i'm just very very excited and i think that actually Obviously, once we get the place and bits and bobs like that, I'll definitely chat about it more. But I think it's going to help me a lot in terms of finding a work-life balance, which is something that I don't have much of. Um, admittedly, it is getting better. It definitely could still be improved. So, yeah, I think that it's just going to be really exciting. And I can't wait to move all of the stuff in there and, like, sort out the cute little office get a little CPG office. Um, but, yeah, it's a little bit later now. I've been doing check-ins. It's about quarter to seven i'm going to be having my next meal which is 120 grams of mince so we're back on the mince hype now so say goodbye to burgers unless it's a high day um and 100 grams of potato from the 300 grams and then i only have one more meal um, which i will show you later on so i've always been an italian italian i think that's the salad I've always been an Italian salad girl, but recently I have been loving the crispy salad. And you know what? I used to slag off. Um, I used to slag off this kind of salad here, but actually, it's pretty good, isn't it? I'm getting to that point in prep now where anything is fucking good. Like pepper. I don't actually like pepper, but I actually do like it right now. So I'm back on the pepper hype back on the tuna height fucking what is going on it must be getting close um so i'm gonna be having peppers with cucumber now that's basically the green salad that i always have with every meal um and then i always have like either beans or broccoli with everything um i don't weigh this out by the way i just keep it consistent with every meal i do weigh my sauces um but i just the veg is just as long as i don't take the absolute piss but to be fair I'm not gonna lie, I am having more veg this prep than I was last prep, but I've got in early and I've put more veg in now so that when I get really hungry at the end, the veg will stay the same and I won't get told off. <laughs> I don't get told off eating too much veg by the way. Um, so yeah, that's the veg setup. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. So it is about eight o'clock now and i'm just basically waiting to eat my next meal <laughs> so i thought i'd just pick up the camera and fill you guys in on prep update because obviously i haven't filmed for like a week and a half and i just feel like i feel like so much has changed with prep with the diet with everything moving to london so I'm trying to remember what I even told you in last week's or last episode. Did I even tell you that I'm carb cycling now? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to fill you in. So basically, long story short, I had been <clears throat> mentally struggling um, with doing training day, non-training day food. Basically, I just felt like I wasn't on prep. And I know that sounds... <laughs> fucking ridiculous like I shouldn't be moaning that it's not hard and obviously it shouldn't be really really hard because I am only nine weeks out but I think that going from like 
My last prep was savage in terms of the fact that I did have to drop my calories low and I was doing a lot of output, but that's what we had to do to bring the condition. That's like just the way that it went. So to come out of that, to do the reverse diet, which went really well and it was really successful, basically like we, we were then in a position where we didn't have to suffer loads this prep. So because the food got high and the condition, I didn't lose too much condition in that period between my shows. It just meant that this prep was always going to be quote unquote easier because I basically had that time where I could build my calories up, not go stupid, I didn't lose control with food or anything. So realistically I should be fucking grateful with the fact that it hasn't been that tough so far. But I think that mentally I was just struggling. And I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, I just felt like very not food focused, but I never I've never really fought on like cheating on my diet or anything like that in a prep, but I just felt like where it didn't feel like prep, I just had more kind of like, oh, can't really be bothered to do my steps. Like, I don't know, I guess I just kind of freaked myself out a bit in terms of like how I was thinking, oh, I can't be bothered. Like, I don't know, it's a, it's weird. Anyway, some people that have prepped might actually understand what I'm trying to say, but I'm going to stop trying to say it because I'm not getting anywhere. But anyway, now what we are doing, so I checked in with Dan on Thursday last week and I told him how I was feeling and he said right <laughs> I just said like can we is there any chance that we can carb cycle even if we don't do that many low days just so that I can feel carb cycling and I can feel harder days and he is amazing as always and was like yeah of course um he was like if you want to feel like prep you're gonna fucking feel like you're on prep so we've basically changed things up now so I have Low carb days, high carb days. My high carb days are basically the same. So my high carb days look very much like my meal plan did before. Um, and then I've got low carb days, which are low carbohydrate days. So two days of high, one day of low. No, yeah, two days of high, one day of low. Um, and I've been doing that for the last couple of days since my last check-in. Honestly, I can't tell you how much better I feel. I feel like I'm on prep now. And it just feels great. So, yeah, last couple of days have obviously been quite stressful with the move, but um, it's just been nice to have it's such a small, small adjustment. But that and a little bit more cardio, which I'm now doing four half an hour a week, has just sorted me out. It sorted me out. I, I feel hungry today and I like it. You know, I haven't, I feel like before I was feeling like fake hunger. So it wasn't, it wasn't hunger because like, trust me, it wasn't hunger. It was just like, I don't know, like a bit of boredom. I think I wasn't being very smart with my meals. I think that was the issue because I knew that I could wait a long time in between my meals because I've been used to that on prep. I was having like meal two, meal three, like within the space of like an hour and a half. And then... I just happily wait until the next meal because I'm used to waiting that long in between meals and I wasn't actually hungry I was just eating because I knew I had meals to eat does that even make sense I don't even know but basically that's what was happening um and I just didn't I just just I just needed a change in prep and that's what we did so we're carb cycling now today has been a low carb rest day um so you've seen all of my food from today got one more meal which is my yogurt bowl which i will show you in a minute and then tomorrow is a high carb training day i'm going to be training upper so i will definitely film the morning for you and i will insert my upper body session i'll show you my yogurt because basically now i don't have the oats with my last meal anymore so well I do on a high day but not wait hang on do I do guys I'm losing my head I'm claiming prep brain I don't do two high days one low day I do two low days one high day mm -hmm. oh my god so basically ignore everything I just well don't ignore everything I just said but basically we run two low carbohydrate days one high day so two of the adjusted meal plans that are lower in carbohydrates lower in calories and then one high day which is basically my old meal plan so tomorrow is not a high day tomorrow is a low training day i've been talking for too long on this vlog 
I'm gonna show you my yogurt bowl and then I will catch you guys in the morning. Tuesday and this morning I have got my usual client check-ins so I'm hoping to get into the gym after meal two today um, I'm so excited to train like, I, like rest days are cool but I just I'm so excited to train like my training right now is flying obviously I am in King's now so I'm having to readjust my little book but still going to be following the same split so the same kind of upper lower back and hamstrings glutes and push I'm just going to readjust the little book and definitely add in some of the good machines that they have in there so looking forward to that later currently half past six been up for about an hour so hungry <laughs> my appetite is firing again now which is so good so my next meal will be at half past seven and it will be 40 grams of oats with a scoop of whey. One thing I was so worried about with moving to London was like what to do with my car. I was thinking, fucking hell, I'm going to have to get rid of my car, I'm going to have to pay up my ass for a permit or whatever. Turns out you can get a permit right outside my front door, like literally right outside my front door. And it was like 130 quid for the year or something. So buzzing about that. We are about to go and do a upper body session, which I'm gonna film for this vlog. I have got the rest of my banana <laughs> and I've got my pump and I'm very excited. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna basically, I'm not gonna chat anymore now. I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna eat this banana but I'm not going to eat it like that because there's some weird fucking people on the internet. I'm going to break it and eat it like that. Mmm. Amazing. Do you know what I actually really fancy? I just saw it with um, Ali just put it on her breakfast. Cherries. I fucking... Oh, I love cherries. I miss cherries. Yeah, let's get into the upper body session and I will catch you afterwards.
So I am just off to do my cardio today and I saw my camera in my bag and I thought shit I haven't even wrapped up the video so I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of my upper body session. Um, yeah that's pretty much it to be fair. I am gonna pick up the camera again in the next couple of days. Um, I am actually going up to see Dan next week the beginning of next week so i'm gonna be up in hull so that'll be exciting like i literally can't be asked to go and do cardio right now but i'll do it anyway it's all good it's all good it's only half an hour we used to do like literally an hour a day so i'm gonna go and do my cardio now i'm wrapping up the video here as always please subscribe if you haven't already if you enjoy these videos if you're watching the prep then please just whack me a subscription i can't tell you how much it helps me out give the video a like and i will see you next time